All right, perfect. So guys, thank you very much for uh, coming for this first Upgrad online graduation ceremony. Um, so we have with us Ronnie Struvala, co-founder of Upgrad, and Radhika, who's uh, our chief guest. Uh, she's a co-founder of Shop Clues. The best thing today that we have is that there are no ground rules, uh, because this is the first time we are doing an online convocation. Uh, we don't have any benchmarks. That's a good thing for us. Uh, the bad thing is that whatever we do sets the benchmark. So we need to do a good job of, uh, of the convocation without any sort of, uh, 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 without any kind of uh, preconceived ideas about the graduation ceremony. Guys, first of all, I'd like to welcome all the participants of uh, the 2015, uh, November 2015 batch of entrepreneurship uh, uh, for this first graduation ceremony. It's going to be a 15 minutes graduation event, um, uh, the convocation event. There are five things in the agenda item for us. Uh, there's going to be an introduction by Ronnie. Uh, then Radhika will follow up uh, with her convocation speech. Very interesting because it is a convocation ceremony, but for a lot of people, it is also commencement of the entrepreneurial journey. Uh, so it's a commencement speech, including a con uh, convocation speech as well. Uh, the third thing on the agenda item is we have a small video uh, that we have created for you guys that you can just sort of watch as part of, I mean, this is the third one on the agenda item. Uh, it has a slightly fun take on what has happened in the last batch, uh, so we'll share that with you. Um, no convocation event is over without certifications or awards, uh, so we'll have a certification and award as the fourth item on the agenda. Um, and then there's a surprise element for all of you guys. Uh, so if you felt that after going through the awards and certification, you can go back, uh, stay on, because without knowing what the surprise element is, you will not be able to sort of access those later. So that's the, the quick agenda. Um, just for the social media purposes, uh, we are running a, a hashtag called Grad Day, G-R-A-D-D-A-Y. So if you guys are watching this, tweet out, use the Facebook channel, uh, Snapchat, I don't know what all other sort of social media channel that exists right now. Uh, so with that, I'll start off with Ronnie, uh, if you can quickly. Uh, sure, just thank you. Thanks, man. And yeah, really, I think it's fabulous. Uh, you know, a couple of months back when your course was um, ending, we were scratching our heads and saying, the course is ending. That sounds quite anticlimactic. And normally people have some sense of a convocation ceremony, something that brings people together that says, we went through this, we experienced that for three months. We were also very obsessed with just staying online and being online because we want to really build this entire organization on the fact that online uh, is really going to be the future of how we're going to interact and do whatever we want to do. So we kind of came up with this convocation ceremony and we'll, as, as he said, there are no ground rules here, so we'll see how that goes and, and takes us forward. Um, over the last um, three months that you'll have been through the course, or four months now, uh, and interacted and learned and engaged, you know, a couple of the main feedbacks that came out obviously was when we started off, the big question was, can entrepreneurship be taught? And I guess the answer that you have sort of understood, having engaged with the course for three uh, for three months, is that there is it's as much a yes as as much a no. And the no, of course, is obviously the fact that finally, whether you started the journey or you're already midway into the journey and you're looking at various aspects of scaling up or whatever else, it still really depends on you. And that element is something that you, all we can do in this three months is to really polish up and see to it that if you're going to make 100 mistakes, of which 20 times you'll feel is going to be a failure, we can reduce that to maybe by 20 or 30 mistakes and try and make those failure moments a little less, a little bit more acceptable, a little bit more tolerant. At the same time, I think what we've done very well, and you all have been participative about this in the last three months, is that you've already formed your lovely peer group. And we know that from our statistics, having tracked all of you. And I think I remember my best days and fondest memories of college and school because that's when you build your longest relationships, your deepest relationships. And I think as entrepreneurs, one of the things I would strongly advise you is that the some of the peer groups that you've caught on with the hundred odd people that you've interacted with, or some of you all have interacted with, or if you're not, I would urge you to still interact with it because that whole uh, classroom is still open from that point of view. Those are going to be the ones that you can almost feel that will be your friends and your sort of uh, colleagues as you go forward. So lastly, some of the most answered questions when I was doing the Google interactive chats with I think most of you all, because I think pretty much spent the last three months interacting with some of the other over two evenings. If you boil them down to a couple of things, it's basically I have an idea and I want to get it validated. 
The second one is I have an idea and I want to get it funded. And the third is how do I build a team and how do I get co-founders or how do I attract talent? I think if I was to look at almost everything else, and I think you've gone through the course, those three pivots uh, and those three elements seem to be the core for people who are starting off or people who are deliberating to start off, and for most of you who are already in your journey. And I think, and I hope the last three months has answered a lot of those. And those are the ones that I think you need to reflect on. Finally, as this course kind of comes to an end for you all and you'll move on, what's worked for me is always making some sense of headline notes. You know, when you finish an entire chapter of some sense of learning, if you can just spend maybe today or sometime this week about just five, seven, or eight headline points that you think you got out of this course that were your trigger moments because time passes and then you get back into your daily routine. And from that perspective, if you can just remember the five, six, or seven things that you really were your high moments of this course and put a date on it and then reflect on that once in every three months. It's like a mini revision course, which is not more than five minutes. But those will jolt you a lot of the times when you're coming to different crossroads because don't forget these moments here. You have made your notes. You have answered some questions. They will, may not have relevance two years from now. But these headline learnings, I think, will have a le re relevance for the next five years. So I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say here. And a couple of weeks back, I saw um, Sheryl Sandberg uh, giving a very good and a, and a strong and an emotional um, convocation address at Berkeley University. So when Mang and I were talking about that, Radhik and I go back some ways. And uh, we've interacted. I think for the last two or three years. But in those years, I think um, I've got to understand her very well. And I hope and, uh, at, that, that whatever she has to say here, I know for a fact that we invited her here only because of her experience, her resilience, and the learning lessons and the ups and downs that, that, that everyone goes through when you're being able to build that. And most important, the empathy. Because when I walk around the shop blues premises there, I think the team spirit that's been created there can only happen when the founders have that level of empathy for everything that they're doing. So thanks for being here, Rani. Thank you so much, Rani. That was a, those are very big words used for me. And I'm very honored and uh, touched. I'll just add a couple of points there. I think on top of that, when we we're discussing this, um, we had a question that a lot of folks had to fill up as to who's the entrepreneur that you admire the most and why. And I think your name came up multiple times oh, uh, thank as you one guys. of those uh, entrepreneurs uh, that have inspired them to take up the world of entrepreneurship. I think very importantly, it's not just shop clues as an entrepreneur that we're changing um, with those set of employees uh, that are with shop clues, but you're impacting lives of four yes. lakh plus entrepreneurs along with you. And I think uh, some of our students are part of shop clues network. Uh, so they are selling and buying on oh, shop clues. Uh, so I think there's a strong connect. and. Uh, uh, Radhika has been one of the strongest sort of um, supporter of Upgrad as a, as a thought process. Also, I remember in my first, second month of Upgrad, I spent a day at Shopcruise office just understanding the needs and requirements. And I think some of the learnings helped us create the program and take to some next set of programs also. So with that, I let Radhika just sort of address the entire participant population. There's no one in front of you. Right. So you have to sort of assume that you're talking in front of 1,000 plus audience. Uh, and yep, over to you, Radhika. Thank you, Mank, and thanks, Atan Rani. That was, uh, I'm, I'm still, you know, grappling with those words. But uh, guys, congratulations. Firstly, you've taken an immense, immense first step, just to be able to get out there and realize that there is something that you need to learn, and there is a next step that you want to take in your career. Career in itself is extremely commendable. Um, and as my aunt mentioned, you know, when Upgrad started, he stopped by the office, and Ronnie and I had multiple discussions around it. That what is it that people are actually looking for? And and uh, I think a bigger question than that: Can entrepreneurship truly be taught? Uh, there are multiple players who, multiple uh, people, multiple thought uh, leaders in 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 the whole entrepreneurship world who believe that it is it is inherent to you. And uh, you know if you are an entrepreneur or not, and or if you can be a star in the entrepreneurial world or not. And there's very little to learn. Um, I disagree with that, and, and and disagree pretty pretty strongly with that. Uh, let me give you an example, and it's from Ronnie's world more than mine, but uh, it's something that's always always inspired me. 
um, there is this guy who went to uh, a school in Delhi, uh, was uh, amazingly uh, involved in the theatrics club, uh, in the dramatics club, and worked really hard in both you know, debating, elocution, etc., etc. Worked in street theater for multiple, multiple years and uh, wanted to be in Bollywood, um, but would not get a break. And, and the first break that he got was actually in a TV serial. And he could have always said that, hey, I'm not going to do it. Uh, this is not what I'm aspiring for. I'm made for bigger and better things. And uh, TV serial is not the right entry level for me. And, and I think Ronnie knows who I'm talking about here. Yeah. Um, that's Shah Rukh Khan today for you guys. So uh, a small step, one at a time, is is the uh, is the right step. Uh, the opportunity will come knocking down your door, but you have to be prepared for it. You can't just assume that you'll get this big and bright idea one day and you'll go out and become an entrepreneur. So for all the glamour in the entrepreneurial world, all the uh, amazing stories that you hear about uh, Sachin and Vinnie Bansal having done a phenomenal job, built a large company like Flipkart or uh, Sandeep, Sanjay and me in shop clothes, I can tell you that there are hours and hours and hours of hard work and hours and hours and hours of learning that goes into it as well. There is a, a, a daily learning process about you know, what it truly means to be an entrepreneur. What does it, uh, what is the next step you take, whether you, and, and even before that, right, when do you become an entrepreneur? I think that's another question that all of us deal with. For um, at Shop Close, all the entire founding team were late bloomers. We all came into our entrepreneurial uh, journey in our late 30s. Uh, and there are a lot of other people we know and the 400,000 merchants that I talked about who actually entered their entrepreneurial journey fairly early. There are, there are kids who are selling out of college right now. And phenomenal, right? There is this guy who creates these notebooks that are personalized. And uh, he started selling on shop clues, and we saw that the business picked up fairly quickly. And he came back to us with a business plan. And I can tell you that business plan looked far better than the first business plan that we had presented for shop clues. Also, because he put in an effort into learning about entrepreneurship. He made an effort that if I have to go out and pitch to somebody my business plan, who should I be pitching to? And uh, and, and uh, I think those are the tools that Upgrad has equipped you with. And those are the tools that are going to actually take you much, much further. When um, when we started Shop Clues, uh, we had a very clear vision of what we wanted to do, a very clear idea that you know it has to be a marketplace. We're going to bring in uh, small and medium merchants on the platform. It's going to be a mass market focused uh, on the consumer front. Uh, a very 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 uh, a very clear vision on it. But I can tell you that the first pitch that we made, we got shredded. Like, little little pieces all over the place. It wasn't because we didn't know what we were doing. In fact, we and the vision has not changed from that day at all. It's just that we didn't understand the language that the that the investors were looking for as well. And I'm hoping that and and I'm actually very confident that for you guys you go into it knowing what it is that to what it means to pitch to an investor. Um, each entrepreneurial journey starts with an idea. Uh, my thought has always been that ideas are a dime a dozen. A lot of people have ideas. It's the execution, it's the team that matters the most. And Ronnie said something that kind of stuck in my mind that uh, out of all the questions that I get asked about entrepreneurship and you know what does it really mean what's the toughest thing to do one of the toughest things to do is to find the right team is to find the right yeah. co-founder and I think Mayank has given you this phenomenal platform where there are multiple of you who are actually looking at entrepreneurship so go out get onto your social media the upgrad social media reach out to people. You might find your co-founder right there, not sitting right next to you because you're all in the virtual world, but just one message away. And, uh, and I can tell you that out of wonderful ideas, this is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest question people have. How do I find co-founders? You need to find people with complementary skills, same skills, 
depends completely on your business plan, but how do you find the right people? That is very, very critical, and you've been given an amazing platform for that. Um, finally, the execution part of it as well. And when do you, when you give up? That's, that's the other part of it, right? Uh, execution means getting up in the morning and showing up at work every day. The life of an entrepreneur is not easy. If you've read Ronnie's book, you know that there are multiple ups and downs. And there seems a certain randomness to your life, but there is, uh, it's an ordered chaos. And there are days, I'll be very honest, where I just want to crawl under my bed and not get out. But the best thing I have done for myself is get up and show up in the morning. So, so do that. That is, it sounds very, very simple, but that is really the crux of my learning of the past four and a half years is that get up and show up every day. And each day has to be slightly better than the previous one. There might be lots of pitfalls. You might trip and fall all over again. But at least one thing has to be better than it was yesterday. I think that is very, very, very critical. Um, overall, I think I, ju I just want to say that this is, this is great. If I had the opportunity to have an entrepreneurship lesson, the ability to be able to learn it, um, I've, done, I've done it on the job, but I would have taken this course blindly, yeah. completely. Congratulations, guys, and good luck. Uh, I'm sure we'll see a lot of big, big, big companies coming out of this class. Yep. No, thank you, Ravi. Thank you. This was thank wonderful. You. Um, I think um, for a lot of what you said is what we're at least trying to sort of put out in the program itself. Um, and I think to, to a lot of students, it's just a lot about getting clarity during the entire process. What do they do next? How do they tackle different issues? And with learnings that we interviewed you and Sanjay yes. uh, as part of the program, uh, folks are trying to take away those learnings and sort of take it back to their sort of daily operations. Uh, so guys, with that, uh, let us move down to the third item on the agenda. It's a fun video that we have created for, uh, uh, which is recounting our experiences sitting right here. Uh, uh, our team has sort of put together a sh short video. Just a couple of things about the video. We'll play it up on the Google Hangout uh, so you guys can see the screen and watch it. Uh, but whatever that we have done, I mean, infrastructure has not caught up uh, with what we want to achieve. So there are chances that the videos may pause. So there is also a separate link that has been shared to you on the chat forum. Uh, you guys can click on the YouTube link and watch uh, uh, the videos as well. So with that, I'll just pass it on uh, to Ani to sort of uh, put across the video and we can watch it on that screen. Perfect. Yeah. So, 
Perfect. No, uh, so there's a small video that we sort of made for. It was a longer one. Um, we had to cut it short to sort of bring out the sort of key element. Everyone was saying that if I was not there, the video would have been much better. <laughs> uh, we are still sort of learning how to be in front of the camera. But I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. I think there are already good companies that have come yeah, out yeah. of the of the program, and uh, just the camaraderie that you see, yeah. you know, with the online camaraderie, but it's there. Yeah. yeah. No, the engagement level has been quite, very, very quite, high. very, very high. encouraging. In fact, a uh, couple of stories, and I'll share those videos with you. I think that folks who have come to this program with absolutely zero idea, uh, by the end of the program, they had their MVP out. And uh, there's a guy who now gets 5,000 uniques a day uh, for his venture, uh, which is two months after after the program getting over. Wow. So it's, it's amazing, and he's here today. Uh, and he'll just sort of, uh, yeah. I mean, he'll be talking about some of his sort of well, learning. From, from somebody who's in the digital world, every yeah. getting even a single unique is no, no. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, 5,000 unique, there's like immense respect there. So, success. Yeah. So, guys, now we come to uh, uh, another interesting part of the journey of this uh, grad day event, which is no grad day is complete without certification and award. Uh, I think we started with this program with a very strong belief that we will not hand over any certificate. Uh, but when it's grad day, then without certificate, I don't think so. It's a, it, it gets a closure. Uh, so here's how it's going to work. Uh, we have a set of all students in which we have divided them into high honors. Uh, and and this all the rest of the, the folks who have completed the program. 
high honors is meant for the top 30% of the of the class, uh, which is based on the participation, the B plan tracker, the feedback that they have got with peers. So the entire scores compiled together uh, gave us these high honor students. Um, we then have the rest of the folks, and post which we will provide. I mean, we have some awards here uh, to hand over to the top. I mean, five six students who have performed exceptionally well. Uh, so the way this will work out is I'll call out these names. It's going to be a time-consuming process. As in every convocation event, this is the most time-consuming process. Uh, I'll call out each name. Uh, if I just get tired, I may hand over you guys yeah. to sort of call out those names. Uh, but um, uh, guys, as soon as we call out your names, you have to type in yes on the chat box. As soon as the yes is typed out, we will send across the certificates over an email. Uh, it's an incredible certificate in collaboration with Upgrad, which you click on it, it automatically comes to a LinkedIn account, a LinkedIn profile. Um, once it comes on a LinkedIn profile, you can also access the same certificate uh, through the digital wallet, digital library, where the certificate will be there for you for life. Uh, so guys, uh, with that, I'm just going to sort of read out the names. Uh, I have the list of all those participants uh, uh, of our program. Uh, so just type in yes, and if you don't type in yes, you will not get your certificate. Uh, for, for that can be put in the in the LinkedIn profile as well. So for high honors, uh, it's all in alphabetical order, so it doesn't mean that who has top and who has not top. Uh, we have the following name, Tarun Mishra. Uh, just Tarun Mishra, I'll just point out once. I think uh, when we used to have our discussion internally, uh, we used to measure the uh, uh, performance of each of the class. What's the average uh, performance level? How many questions a week? How many answers a week, etc. Um, and Tarun Mishra would always come on top. So that's the name that is non-alphabetical wow. order. So we used to have two sessions. One is with Tarun Mishra and next Tarun Mishra. <laughs> uh. And next Tarun Mishra will give us the clear picture as to how the class is performing. Okay. So Tarun Mishra, congratulations. Anup Singh, Amrish Chaudhary, Amit Kishore Puriya, which we saw the first um, can, uh, first applicant for, for upgrade. Oryx Sen Gupta, Sushendra Sesh Chala. I think he's from the US taking up this program. Um, Avni Chitroda, uh, Aditya Gangalia, Anirudh Kishan, uh, Ruturaj Koha, uh, Gharat Sanket uh, Sudhakar, Abhay Agrawal, Ayush Jain, Harsh Petroda, uh, Arindam Chakrabarti, uh, Srinivas Narayanan, Mridula Chetri. So Mridula has also started her own venture uh, just I think about a month or two back. Uh, uh, she is from Bangalore, she just quit her job. Wow. Uh, so one of our success metric is how many people have quit the job <laughs> at the end, end of the program. That's a big question, yeah. yeah. Romil Jain, he's with us today uh, uh, for the session. Uh, Tahir Patrawala, Rajesh Nalasivam, Kiran Sarkar. Uh, Kiran used to, I mean, when the first uh, session of ours has a, has a module on idea validation, I think she was going through this, and within the first few weeks she pivoted her business model while going through the program. I mean, it's a testament of whether the program is making you think or is it just a good textbook yeah. for you to go through. Um, we have Raju Nayan. Uh, Raju is a, uh, he's a college student. He's going through uh, the college program right now. Uh, so he's one of the students in the high honors. Piyush Gaware, Suraji Datta, Tilak Pati, Sharan Karnani, who came with the box of briefs. Oh, yeah. Uh, good luck with yeah. that, by the way. You uh, should try oh, selling on shop throughs. Yeah. Nayan Balwani, uh, Himanshu Bhansali, the first uh, person to pay us the money. Uh, we built a big uh, uh, technology enabled payment gateway. Uh, he deposited cash uh, in a bank account uh, in Udaipur or in Jodhpur. Uh, so Ravi, who is managing a technology platform, he spent hours and hours building the payment gateway. The first <laughs> oh. payment that came was cash deposit in a bank back. account, which was good that we did not lose out on the payment yeah. gateway charges. Uh, 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 Himanshu Bansali, Ambar Gupta, Monel Gupta, Makran Vadya, Tapish Khari, and Rajesh Bhatia. So guys, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, Lovely, uh, great. You guys have graduated with high honors. Uh, the certificate would be on your way only if you have answered yes on the platform. Uh, for the rest of the names, I'll just sort of quickly read out. Uh, Harsha Atri, Prashant Magu, Karthik Sutrave, Neeraj Bamtani, Sheetal Mukherjee, Bina Ramaya, Lavneet Amin, Jamshir Bashir, Rajiv Gujral, Dr. Matthew Koshi, uh, Vivek Nair, Sankar Gadam, Shantanu Chari, I mean the list is long, so I'll just continue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mitesh Desai, 
Vishal Mundra, Sairam Chari Devakaran Thanajayan, Deep Shah, Aditya Kumar. Aditya has joined us, host the program oh, wow. uh, okay. as an employee to our program. Pranav Avasthi, Gurtej Singh, Neera Charma, Ayush Agrawal, Manoranjan Sahu, Piyush Singh, Uday Karan Singh Dalal, Nihal Pimphale, Tipam Bhattacharji, Mukesh Singh, Deepak Balik, Karan Bhange, Lakshmi Narayana Fulgam, Vishwanath K, Sandeep Kambli, Bharat Deo Sharma, Sakshi Magon, Manikan Dorandula, Jyotirma Chatterjee, Ankit Shah, Pra Praveen Dev, Shrejin Velayadhan, Niranjan Ravori, Kunal Ghia, I mean, again, there are some names left, uh, Alma Shafuddin, Panindranath Gupta Bachu, Divya Kalaniti. So Divya was the one who was very active and then she disappeared. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first time when anyone, uh, uh, we used to call, as Bhagun said, 400 times and she picked up once. The day her phone was picked up, we had a small celebration <laughs> in the office. We called for some cake and everyone ate that cake. Um, Divya, you didn't get a slice of it. Yeah, Divya did not get the, But Divya came later, so we didn't okay. give her a, not the stale one, but the fresh cake for her. Anand Kumar uh, Somchandra, Nikhil Pawar, Sanjay Ravi, uh, Pradeep Gupta, uh, Surya Snatha Mohapatra, Rahul Sirohiya, Pranit Kumar, Rahul Bansal, Balaji Al uh, Sundaram, uh, Shubha Chandrasekharan. So Shubha uh, is a mother of two. Uh, she's a trainer. And um, she's now sort of started her own venture in education, online education space, and trying to sort of do corporate training. Uh, she has a very interesting journey because she would wake up in the morning, get the two kids ready, uh, give out one hour for our grab program, go out in the job, sort of get the training done, come back, submit the assignment. She diligently sort of followed the, the process through the entire I, I always have a lot of respect for working moms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Vamsi Krishna, M. Rasi Dali, uh, Moshin Kumar Kherajani, Pranav Marva. Uh, Pranav has been uh, working with us. She, he has uh, started his own incubator okay. uh, in Bombay. So uh, he's one of our students and he has bought the second cohort of students uh, for his own uh, incubator students uh, coming on board. Ramachandra Khatri, Harish Bode. By the way, that's serious validation because yeah. somebody who's been through the program yeah. Yeah. and brings back another larger cohort of groups yeah. uh, uh, of students, that's pretty yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, and we have to sort of make sure that they are very, very happy <laughs> so that we get the entire incubator space in India. Uh, Ranjan Kumar, uh, Valmik Patel, Tarun Gupta, Kartik Ayer, Kartik Prakash, Priyanka Parode, Vipul Bhavsar, Asad Bhagat, Abhishek Raj Agrawal, Anand Mane, Hani Patel, Devendra Mirkute, Denzel Sekeria, Ritwik Chandel. Ritwik was the biryani uh, person <laughs> for, uh, for us. Archana Kumari and Nikhil Jain. So guys, congratulations Fantastic. to all of you. Congratulations. Yeah. Now normally this kind of graduation, this name calling out would have taken at least five times. The yeah. good thing about yeah. online is you can get on with it, calling it, click a button, and you've got what you want. Yeah. So now uh, for the specific uh, the, the awards that we have chosen for four or five individuals with an upgrade, um, uh, this is a special award that we are sort of uh, offering to our students. Uh, I'll just get those awards on the You're done with this. Yeah, I'm done with this, yeah. Yeah, we can just put it here. Sorry. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. No. Okay, so the first one is uh, is very much like a Dean's Award or the Dean's Gold Medal, the Director's Gold Medal in any university. So I'm just trying to sort of give you the parallel. Uh, this goes to the most engaged participant. Um, uh, this award uh, is meant for folks who have been really, really active, uh, who submit their assignments on time, engage in peer-to-peer -peer discussion, and overall has been just sort of going and, and uh, uh, going and delivering on time, before time, most of the times. Uh, so this this goes to uh, uh, to one of our students, uh, Amrish. Uh, Amrish has been phenomenal. He's not here, so he's probably uh, checking it out online. Uh, okay, we'll nice job, Amrish. Amrish, this is for you. So very uh, interesting thing for Amrish would be that um, we would put up a problem statement online, we'll put up a case study, we'll put up an assignment. Before the assignment goes online, Amrish's answers are with us. Wow. Uh, so he was uh, lightning speed uh, in terms of his uh, um, engagement. And every morning, I mean, I typically come to the platform and check out who have been recently logged on to the platform. 
and there would not be a single name and Amrish's name will not be there. If you're diligently sort of following up the entire process and... Uh, um, and just to be clear, when we were looking at this award, I think it's not about... We're not doing this because we found you just diligent on the course, but I think those are some of the DNA parts that yeah. really go into making a great entrepreneur. Because I think you're being proactive, you're being, you're, you know, you're moving with the times. There's a certain level of rigor and follow-up. You've taken something on, you've bitten it from that perspective, and you want to go forward. And yeah. I think that was really no, so it's not no. engagement just from a teaching perspective. It's yeah. much more. So Amrish has been. Uh, I mean, there's one important part of doing this entire program was, as an entrepreneur, you have. 15 hours work life and then taking out one hour uh, is very, very difficult yes. and it's about managing time really and well discipline. And, and having the discipline to sort of uh, do it and do it rigorously. And I think Amrish has shown the dedication in doing that and I think he's imbibing a lot of it in his sort of uh, daily activity. Uh, the second award for us, uh, as part of being an entrepreneur, uh, and as part of being an entrepreneur, it is very important that uh, uh, you have to build a community around you. Um, be it internally, externally, engaging with multiple stakeholders. Oh my God, that's huge, Patrick. Yeah. And for us, it was very important, and I think it was very important to create a community because we did not want online education to be just about um, being on the platform and learning on the platform. It is about bringing people, like-minded people together. And that's where, for us, the second award that we chose was Exceptional Community Builder Award. Uh, and this award goes to Rajesh. Uh, Rajesh is with us here. Okay. So, Radhika. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. So, Rajesh, if you can just probably talk or share a moment of your experience. Uh, of course. <laughs> it has been a beautiful journey and wow, getting an award to make friends, fantastic. <laughs> uh, this was a journey like started off uh, 26th of November, I guess, and then. I was waiting, of course, I was not very diligent in uh, my assignments, <laughs> got late because I, did, I was building my company during that time. So. But of course, we uh, got to meet a lot of our um, students, we brought them to our offices and then had fun, three, four hours together. So thank you very much, Abdrag. We have learned so much. I mean, before joining Abdrag, I, I started my journey uh, uh, 2015 early. But before starting that, for every problem, I used to call up a chartered accountant or a lawyer yes. or everything. And here, after 26th of November, I did not call up anybody. I had my uh, Falgun, uh, Archana for legal problems. So it has been a fantastic journey. Thank you so much. Thank and you made very, very good words, yeah. which is fun. So I think you've discovered fun. Yeah, of course, yeah. it is fun. Without, without that, nothing else. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very difficult to actually get a lot of people together in oh such an online environment, and I think it requires to be very enterprising going out. Uh, I think uh, Rajesh has been probably one of the first person to start using the word upgraders, uh, and he coined that term, and, and all our events would be now upgraded event uh, uh, in, in various communities. So thank you very much for some of that. Congratulations, Rajesh. Uh, we just take one picture with Rajesh. Too far, but it's really later. Yeah. So then the next one is uh, uh, Young Achiever. The average age of the profile was 29 years old um, with very enterprising set of people coming in. Uh, we had um, uh, Anirudh Kishan that we saw. I think he's enterprising and I mean he's so dynamic that he's currently on a flight going for a visa to go for his, uh, 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 for his sort of probably venture down to US. Wow. Uh, so he's traveling right now so he cannot join us online. Uh, but he's 23 years old. Uh, he has, uh, his company is called Piltover Technologies. It builds artificial limbs, uh, and he's selling them for 200 rupees, uh, uh, those artificial uh, limbs in the market, and then sort of dental crowns, etc. Wow. And he, his clarity of thought, I must say, I interacted with him on the Google chat also. Phenomenal clarity from his posing of his question to the way he described his business to the two pointed questions he asked. Fantastic. You're going to go yeah. a long way. Congratulations, Anirudh. Congratulations, Anirudh. Uh, the last two ones are the most promising participants. So our goal at the program was come go to the program, but at the same time work on your own venture. Sort of build that venture, take it to scale, see an MVP out. Our expectation was was if you have an MVP at the end of the program, we have achieved a large uh, part of our objective. Uh, two students specifically out of there, uh, they have gone beyond that, um, uh, and they have gone not just with MVP, but getting customers on the platform. Um, and then getting the product up and running. 
Uh, one of them is uh, Rommel Jain, who's with us uh, uh, attending the session. Uh, so Rommel is, uh, is so Rommel is the uh, Jain's club, uh, and he's the one who started from uh, just an idea to an MVP and then selling it on various platforms. Oh, wow. And he's the one who started from them. Uh, oh, yeah. That's amazing, by the way. Very nice. And he has just moved on to his incubator and lower for right? Yeah. yeah, it's a co-working space. It's co-working space, yeah. Right. So yeah, the journey has been really amazing with Abdurad, not just because of the online content, of course. That was good. But the interactions I've had with Ronnie specifically during the Hangout session, those things have stuck with me to help build the foundation for Gen Club. And apart from that, the things I've learned from my fellow upgraders has also helped me a lot in clarifying what I need to do and where the company needs to head in the future. So yeah, it's been an amazing experience and I hope it doesn't end today. No, it's and not I'm associated with the upgrade as long as possible. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not ending. And we got a surprise at the end. I mean, you'll see the connect between your question and the answer. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Love Thank you so much. much. Congrats, uh, so the second one is uh, uh, Ruturaj Koha. Uh, I think he launched movie cards. Again, came with limited idea before he started his venture uh, and now he has sort of launched his platform as well uh, and he has been very very active on the uh, on Upgrad platform building the community and taking it forward as well and I think it's for us it is I mean, we thought everyone should have phenomenally when they have come out with the MVP but these two uh, individuals have just had a significant delta between them and the rest of the bats so I think if someone can sort of emulate them and take it to scale we'll be very very happy then we'll call our batch a success. Phenomenal. Anything you want to say to your first uh, colleagues? As all said, you know, like, like awesome experience, life changing for me. And I'd, I'd like to tell one incident that changed the entire scene. I wouldn't have been standing here. I got selected for the mentorship track, and on my session, one to session with Ronnie, I was confused between my existing things and my startup idea. My question was confusing and I was in a terrible state that day. The, I'll just tell his answer to you. Now, what would you regret more after five years? With this or with that? That changed everything for me. So that's everything. Like, I know what to do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, keep asking that question. I know. <laughs> it is the most important question. It is a life-changing question. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Congratulations. Perfect. So uh, we do not have Amrish, but Amrish is online. Uh, so I'll just sort of pass it on yeah. so that he can just share his experience at Amrish. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I I would say that it was a wonderful experience uh, being the part of this program. And this program brought in a lot of uh, clarity on. Uh, to me on different topics related to startups. As, as Radhika mentioned that uh, this program actually equipped us with all the required tools those are required for running the startups. And uh, I, really I really like the, the depth and the breadth of the content and the way it, it is designed and delivered to uh, all of us. And especially the thing which I really liked is the, the proactive support of the uh, startup team. Whenever it was required, they were there and they were pushing us and helping us uh, at the every stages, every phases, and uh, it was overall uh, wonderful experience. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. So, Madam, I'm going to get uh, your uh, your flag shipped across to you very soon. Uh, yeah, there it is. Sure. <laughs> I mean, this is yours. It has your name on it. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. I'll over to uh, Himanshu Bansali, who um, actually disappointed the entire technology team by depositing cash on oh, the first wow. dish. Uh, but the first paid students for Upgrad. So let's hear from him once. Hello, everyone. Uh, so my journey uh, as a as a first batch uh, in the first batch of uh, startup with Upgrade is uh, really was really wonderful, and uh, I've. Uh, you know whatever was delivered by upgrade is uh, you know is more than an expectation so uh, i've learned a lot and uh, you know in your entrepreneurial journey you just need the direction you know you you learn uh, 
through your way and uh, when you get the uh, idea that uh, what you need to do what you need to do and uh, what is the right direction so we got the right direction we are committing less mistakes than uh, what we were supposed to so it's going very well and uh, we'll try to uh, implement all the learnings into my mind. thank you perfect thanks Ivarsh. so guys now we have come to an end um, we would love to sort of um, we would like to end with thanking everyone thanking first of all radhika for thank you really making it to oh here. my god i i have to say i am uh, i'm i'm uh, very very impressed firstly because i can see a lot of very inspiring stories coming out of this you know the question that rajaraj asked i think that's a question that all entrepreneurs ask at all times you know is this the right time yeah. and we've asked that question multiple multiple times and and you always need that one mentor or that one program to tell you that this is it you know what would you regret more so good no, luck guys no, thank you very to much see what uh, comes thank out you for coming this. down here uh, thank you guys for attending the the first online graduation event uh, at upgrad i hope you guys had fun uh, the videos are available we'll share those with you uh, before we end and as i said and uh, in the video that this is just uh, a start of our journey it's not an end so we have a an iou card it's essentially vou2 card uh, it's a calling card um, for upgrad um, now so this is going to each and every every of you as a graduate right? yeah this will come to each one of the first cohort of uh, start up with upgrad graduating um, this card has got two key features i'd let radhika just read out this card uh, for the entire student uh, community Oh wow! Okay, guys, you you've got a you've got a couple of lifelines over here, by the way, which are <laughs> phenomenal. So it says, "Thank you for your belief in Upgrad, and hope you had an amazing experience," which I'm sure they all did. To express our gratitude, we're happy to give you two Upgrad calling cards. The first one is to call us when you're stuck alone on the highway. A one-on-one -on -one session with Upgrad for any entrepreneurial or career advice. Uh, phenomenal. Can I? get one of these as well yeah and just so that nobody understands highway means that you are in a car yeah. on, your, on your highway of entrepreneurship in in your on your road uh, we have to be slightly poetic <laughs> on that yeah and the second one is call us when you want to learn more do more that means that you get to pursue any one upgrad portfolio program at half the cost amazing that's that's uh, frugality takes you a long way in your entrepreneurial journey so <laughs> congratulation guys So this that, is what you get. So what, the second one is a value for it, and I can tell you the first one you can ascribe no value. No value. Yeah. Absolutely. So thank you guys. Thanks a lot. This is where we come to the end of the session. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we had fun hosting the session. And I just yeah. want to add a little bit because when we were thinking of this and the whole online one, and I think you know consider and for many of you all who are still at a different age when you first had uh, news where just there was one anchor and then all you would talk for 20 minutes. and then you had a cutaway where somebody would join on a phone and now you've seen what news channels do you got 10 12 people at the same time so i think sorry I think that's hard now yeah but <laughs> yeah so i'm talking not even that right <laughs> overall i think over the next 2 to 3 years we hope that and it's our vision on the convocation ceremony that we're going to have everyone as a cluster yes. and technology will be there where we can just interact today it's been a lot more one way with a few of you all interacting and all of you all participating and saying yes but cut to 2 to 3 years when you're on your second or your third course with upgrad and some of the career path watch out for those communication ceremonies perfect thank you guys thank you very much thank congratulations you. maya thank you yeah i think that went out